this changes everything? Of course it doesn't, and I'm sorry for insulting your intelligence by using such a clickbaity thumbnail, but all the golf channels seem to be having a video at the moment that changes everything, so I thought I'd jump on the bandwagon. This video just intends to show how a run-of-the-mill golfer with a 13.5 index handicap can get round the course using hickory clubs. So welcome to part two of this two-part video on finding and playing hickory shafted golf clubs. Hopefully you've already watched part one during which I reviewed the clubs I'm about to play. If not, there's a link above and in the description below. But before we begin, now would be a good time to answer some of the questions often asked regarding playing with old hickory clubs. A common question, understandably, is, will I break the clubs? Old hickory clubs are in fact surprisingly robust. I've only had one shaft break in over roughly 50 rounds of golf, and that was after a lot of dry weather with hard fairways. But even if a shaft does break, new replacements can be bought, and some people even make their own. How far can I expect my hickory clubs to go? Hickory clubs tend to have names rather than numbers, and even then there's quite a bit of variation to each name. So I'd say it's best to look at the lofts on the clubs and compare them to modern clubs, and then maybe knock 10 or 20% off the yardage of your equivalent modern club. But experimentation is the best method. Another question is, do I use my normal swing? There's usually more twist in a hickory shaft than a modern steel or graphite shaft, so a smoother swing should be used, and don't try and hit the ball as hard as you normally do. Finally, what ball should I use? There are a couple of views on this. Some say any modern ball is okay, and players regularly use premium balls such as the Bridgestone Tour B, the Titleist Pro V1, or the Srix and Z Star. Most players, however, tend towards softer balls such as the Callaway Super Soft, the Srixon Soft Feel, or the Wilson Duo. Well, they're the commonest questions, so now I think it's high time we got out onto the course. Here are the lofts for the clubs, as uh, reviewed in part one of the video. I'm going to be playing eight holes of match play against the course, as usual, during which I'll give myself a stroke a hole. Hickory handicaps are usually a little bit higher than uh, WHI handicaps. A stroke hole is probably fair. So, let's begin. Right. Hickory set then. I've got the two mashy here, which is probably a little bit big, but I've only just got here. I've not made many swings yet. So, with the shorter opening swing, it's probably going to be about the right club. Bit pushy. Good for distance though. Sorry, that was uh, spot on for distance. Just a bit wide. As you can no doubt see, it's uh, greens maintenance this week. And the greens have been sanded. So likely to be a little bit slower than normal. Uh, not bad. A little bit of work still to do. You know, just play this one straight. Yep, there we go. Oops. So that's a par with the shot. One up. So the Cochrane's professional driver, F7, I think, swing weight. So heavy. It really makes you wait for the, the club. You can't swing fast with this one. I usually grip a, an inch or two down the shaft as well. Just to try and reduce that swing weight a little bit. Ooh, out at the bunkers. Not where I wanted to be. See when we get down there. Right, just missed the bunker on the right there. I've still got over 300 yards to go so I'm just going to hit my jigger, try and get it halfway there, leave me hopefully a shot at the green. Nice and smoothly again. A bit bottom groovy but I think it's okay. 
Yep, just missed the bunker again. I've got 145 to the middle. Not the nicest lie. I'm going to hit the Bowser Mashy. Should be about the right club, I think. As long as I can hit it straight. Ooh. Got away with it, it's on the green. Uphill with a sanded green, just a little bit firmer. Yeah, let's oh, just run on a tiny bit. That's a five though. Don't we often get them with my full set of clubs. So let's see if I can hit a straight one this time. Get the timing a little bit better. Started right and faded a bit as well. I think I'm at the bottom of the bank, but not in the deep rough. When playing hickory, it's uh, usual not to use any distance devices, apart from the yardage markers on the course. I'm just using them today because I've not played any hickory golf for well over six months, I think. So it'll just be useful to see how far I'm hitting them. But this is my jigger again. Nice and smooth. That's a nice hit. Gets me back in play. I'm going to hit the John Letters Mashy Niblick which I think is probably a little bit short, if anything. But I'd sooner be short than over the back on this hole. It's on the green, probably middle of the green. Oh, my alignment was awful, but my distance was pretty good. Just right edge, I think. Oh, lovely put. So that's a half. Right, after the way I've been fading the driver and with the trouble on the right, I'm going to hit my Tom Stewart two iron here. See if I can get that one a bit straighter. I've gone very far, but it's on the course. Right, I've still got over 200 yards to go. It's into the wind. I'm not going to get there. But I'm going to try the two iron again. Try for a smooth one. See if I can get it okay. It's a nice hit, not the fastest swing. It should be within 70 yards maybe. Well that went 158 yards into the wind. I'm quite happy with that. It's left me 53 to go. I'm going to try the John Letters Machine Blick again. Oh don't thin it either. Get the ball going forwards and hope for the best because I need to up and down this. Well, that spin's not there. So I think about three inches outside the hole. No, it didn't move. That's a six and a hole lost. Into the sun anyway, so probably been a difficult one for the camera to pick up. I've got the bows and mashy again. Just need a good strike. Ooh, a bit heavy. That's going to be bunker, that is. I've come up short of the bunker. I've now got the niblick 
with no bounce, no sole even. And I need to get over this bunker and onto the green. Wish me luck. Oh no. And I've still got to pop it just onto the edge of the green. Let it run down. So body turn, not on pull. Rubbish. Can't chip with hickories either. This needs to go in then for the half. Messy five. Right, after those two scrappy holes, I could do with a, a decent one just to get back in the game. It won't be fading too much even then. Oh no, it'll be okay. Right, I've left myself 170 to the middle. It's a back flag. I should really be taking my two iron, but the lie is a little bit tight. So I'm going to try the jigger. Which if I get it well, it should get me on the front. Yeah. Front apron, take that. Right, back flag. After the way the jigger didn't grab on the sand on the hole before the last, I'm going to play the Bowser Mashy this time. Just try and land it. Either just on or just on the front edge of the apron. I need to aim this quite a way left because it does break to the right at the end. Now I'm in trouble. I've done it again. It's a difficult putt at the best of times because there's a lot of break off the left. So I've got to get this dead weight. Oh, too firm. That's a six, which means I lose the hole. Well, I thought I hit that drive well. It's not even on the fairway, and it's only gone 175. I'm going to play the two iron again. Oh, I caught that nicely. A bit left, but then we can see out the sweet spot. Well, what I thought was a well struck two iron. 145 yards. I've got 153 left, so I need the two iron again. I don't like the lie. I'm going to try the jigger. No, I went mad at it. Ragged swing. I'm going to play the niblick. It's on the green. Much as I could have hoped for, this for the win. No, 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 no. That wasn't a very confident put at all. That's a six net five and a half. So I'm going down the last one down. Not only did I forget to press record on the tee shot, I just walked down the fairway to what I thought was my ball, but it was a piece of paper, so annoyingly I had to walk back here. I hit the tee shot 170. I've got 180 left to the middle. I need to win the hole, so it's got to be the two iron. Not a perfect lie, by any stretch. Let's see if I can get a nice release. Run it down there. Oh, too bottomy that was. Might run to the front edge, but it's a back flag. Well, as you can see, the uh, fairway does run down towards the hole. So although that was a bit of a, a thin one, it did run. And I've ended up on the green, which is nice. So I've now got two puts to win the hole. All about the place, I only need a two put.
Go on, roll, roll. Oh, and as soon as I hit that, it wasn't firm enough. What have I got there? Three to four feet. Maybe just outside three feet. I've been making these all day. Let's uh, be confident. That's a five hard hole and I lose the match one down. Uh, disappointing. But there you go. Yes, it was annoying to three put the final green when a two put would have given me the hole and halved the match. But that's that's golf for you. Anyway, I hope this has inspired some of you to have a go at Hickory Golf. It's great fun and it really encourages you to experiment with shot making because you you have a limited number of clubs. As for how I played today, on the whole, I played pretty well and it was just my Achilles heel, the short game, that really let me down. Otherwise, I think I would have won the match quite comfortably. As far as the score itself goes, you can see everything there. I was one over my handicap, assuming one shot a hole, which, as I say, I think is about right for my level. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.